media has constantly portrayed minority groups through demeaning stereotypes by associating perceived truths about these communities that continuously affect their identities throughout their everyday lives. Images of the Latina maid, the Latino worker, the African woman, the black man constantly shape the way society views marginalized people of color and even how they view themselves. We decided to do a social experiment that challenged traditional media stereotypes by asking students from marginalized groups to come participate in a photo shoot where we shoved stereotypical objects in front of them that contradicted who these people actually were. We also did the same thing to ourselves. These are our reactions. Uh, so that photo shoot made me feel as though I was, my background was a place of poverty, of, um, of, less, of less civilization, less development, um, and disease, where disease is rampant, and definitely that goes with the media's um, portrayal of what it means to be African or from the continent of Africa, that's often portrayed as a country um, and not a continent that is with diverse backgrounds. It felt kind of stressful at the beginning and even more towards the end and it's just like something is like casted on you when you didn't really want it to happen. I felt that um, everything that I've worked so hard for that has led me up to this point to be a college student here at Wake Forest University was sort of stripped of me. It just took me back to the feelings of just like feeling like unwanted or just feel like a criminal or something like that. When I'm categorized to something so low, when you take my human qualities, the things that make me Chris are taken away and just, you know, you aren't human and it feels really bad. You, you feel worthless almost, as if you're not meant to exist. The photo shoot, it took me back to the times where I felt in class, um, where I felt like I couldn't speak out because if I did, um, I would just fulfill the stereotype that people have about the angry black woman or the loud black woman. Traditional response would be, oh, it makes me mad. But like, and it's so obsolete and your ignorance is kind of hilarious. My like black hair and black eyes always give me like a stereotype. Like she's different, she's a foreigner, and everyone just like sees me differently. I've been asked to speak about what it's like to come from an impoverished background without having mentioned anything about my socioeconomic status, just simply because of the fact of where I said I was from. People have asked me like, um, like does my house in India have electricity? Or like, just like, like, my house in India is very comparable to my house in America. Or like my living situation in India is very comparable, com like comparable to my living situation in America. I'm one of you know two black people in the class. I would raise my hand and be like, "Well, what? A There's a lack of African Americans, a lack of um, people of color in this film." Or I would talk about like how women are being you know um, objectified and things like that. To the rest of the class, it was almost like. Here she goes again. Of course, the black girl's gonna say something. Oh, of course, the black girl's upset at this. My brother's African American, just like me. We're twin brothers, and um, there's like this story where like um, somebody dropped their phone in front of him. He picked it up, and like um, he actually took it to her, but she felt so scared to actually get like get to the phone, and like um, she just snatched it out, like you know, and just felt like he was a criminal, so like he was about to attack her or something but she ran away. I never really had that experience, but like, you know, just seeing that, like, you know, I just kind of feel like, hmm, why, why do people actually just like, you know, like, you know, have those stereotypes against me that I'm a criminal, I just like want to attack you or something like that. But really and it's hard because society has kind of placed your group into this category. And you know, they, uh, they're working to, to survive, to provide for their family. Like, of course, there is an impoverished population in India, and of course, their living situations are not ideal, but that's not everyone. It takes away the, the individuality of a person, I guess, if you characterize them based on an entire population. I feel like every individual is different. It's like we're searching for a new experience to be defined as 
each individual rather than a stereotype. Because of the way media has portrayed Latinos in the, um, constantly, I have to, uh, once again, like constantly battle that stereotype and disprove it, um, which gets tiring. In media today, I feel like there is a big lack of representation of marginalized groups. There's a big lack of intersectionality. Um, honestly, in film, I haven't seen anyone that I can say, man, that's me. And I think that's a problem. Um, and honestly, to try to fix these stereotypes, the only way we can do that is by bringing these voices to the front lines, you know, telling other stories in a different way. Um, showing that people are more than just what society has put on them. And that's the only way we'll be able to move forward um, towards the future because media does play a big role in shaping our culture and society. So it starts there.